This video is a tutorial on how to recruit advanced copy readers, or as some people call them, advanced review readers. In this tutorial, I will cover the actual workflow, how it all works mechanically. I'll bring up a page from my website with a link below where you can look at the actual verbiage. I'll touch on ways this can be used as a marketing strategy in and of itself. Towards the end, I'll give you a behind the scenes look at how the sign up process works. It all begins when you get the book back from the editor. Make all the changes in the ebook within two to three days after receiving it from the editor. After the edits are done, it's now time to list it as a pre order on Amazon and or as an ARC copy. This is a beginner's tip what not to do. Don't get impatient and offer the ebook too soon. Because what can happen, and unfortunately I'm talking from experience here, is that a reader will download a copy you offer before it is fully edited and corrected and not have the time to read it then. So whatever typos or other foibles escape your view before it went to the editor, these readers will mistakenly believe this is the final copy of the book. They'll forget it was an R copy. You don't want the readers referencing typos in the reviews as they often do. There are two advantages to offering ARC copies. Advantage one is you are building your readership in general and also gathering ARC readers for follow-up books. The second advantage, the request for ARC readers will be a first announcement that a new ebook is coming. ARC readers can offer you useful feedback, which to a new author is invaluable. Keep ARC readers' names and emails handy. You can ask them for a review once your book is formally published. Getting reviews is hard, so be easy on yourself. Even if you get only four reviews, it's better than having none. The release of the book is just the beginning of your marketing strategy. Recruiting ARC readers can also be a marketing strategy because who doesn't like freebies and giveaways? Giveaways and freebies have a way of capturing everyone's attention. If you make a few different graphics to go along with your invitation to sign up as an ARC reader, this is something you can post several times over the eight weeks before your book goes live. By having several different graphics, it prevents your posts from appearing too repetitive. It all sounds good, but how do I do it? It all starts with a calendar and a final manuscript. Using your calendar, set your true release date for eight weeks out for a beginner or six weeks out if you've done this before. Why so long? You need to give yourself time to recruit the readers, and you need to give the readers at least two weeks to finish the book. Newbies will be anxious to upload and release, but there will be enough for you to do in the six to eight weeks while you recruit and give your ARC readers time to read the book. Eight weeks sounds like a long time, but there is plenty to do in this period of time. Number one, while the book is awaiting release, you can upload to Amazon as a pre-order. This acts as an announcement that your book is coming. It's an opportunity to post about it on social media. Number two, add this new book link to your other books by author page. Don't forget to add it to earlier books. You want every read-through advantage you can set up. Number three, create a review link. What's a review link? It's a link that takes the reader from your note to reader page directly to Amazon to leave you a review. Number four, work on your ebook cover. Then work on the back cover graphics for the paperback and ultimately the hardcover book cover. Next, create at least four different graphics about the book to post to social media. Remember, you'll need a coming soon announcement, a pre-order announcement, a release date announcement, and other sales marketing. 
next while the book is still fresh in your mind you may want to create about four different quote post graphics from your new book authors take a few quotes from their book find a picture that goes along with them and they put them together if you search out hashtag book quote ads on instagram you will see how authors make these you've probably already seen them already be sure to see my video playlist on youtube about gimp which is a free graphics program that can make beautiful book covers and other graphics it's not necessary for authors to learn the entire gimp software program you can learn to make book covers and social media graphics by using only a few of the tools this screen is for beginners who want to see all that needs to be done regarding the actual ebook all on one page. You can pause the video and either write this list down or screenshot it. Step one in recruiting ARC readers is you need a graphic and a form. Here is a small graphic ad I added to my monthly newsletter for a recent ebook asking for advanced copy readers. I tell them that if they find any errors in the book and email me, I will add them to my acknowledgement page. I actually got several signups with this approach. Be aware, as stated earlier, I don't give the book out until it has been professionally edited. Now, about this little button that says click here to get download. Behind this button is the magic of computer coding and integrations between BookFunnel and MailChimp. In the next screen, I'll show you a diagram of how this works between the two coding departments working together. This chart shows what happens when you have the $100 plan or the $20 plan at MailChimp. It diagrams how the ebook is uploaded to BookFunnel, and BookFunnel gives you a link for the reader to download the book. For the $100 plan, the download button makes the readers confirm their email and sends them the book to be downloaded. Then it adds their name and email to your newsletter list at MailChimp. This is all done automatically. For the $20 plan, you would need to download the list of names and emails that BookFunnel will collect for this ARC book. This could be an easy way to keep them separated and organized. By having the emails in one list, it makes it easier to contact your ARC readers after publication to ask them to leave you a review. What if you don't use BookFunnel? I use a form on my website, which is built on WordPress. I use a very old, well-known forms plugin called Contact Form 7. And next, I'm going to show you how easily that works. Okay, now we're looking at my screen, and I'm on my website, readfirstchapter.com. And this is a page that's it's no longer active, but I, I brought it up for this purpose only. I'm going to put this link below in case you want to come and just look at the verbiage I use to invite readers to become ARC readers. Now in this campaign, I offered a mug for them and uh, it had a picture of the book and it also said, I helped get it published. You know, I treated them like they were a team of helpers, which they are. Okay, so you can come to this page and look at all of the verbiage. I picked and chose uh, things from other authors that were talking about this subject. That's one reason we're looking at this page. The next reason is this is a contact form 7 form. So it doesn't use BookFunnel. It doesn't use MailChimp. So I'm going to test it here. Testing, let's see, contact form 7. Okay at readfirstchapter.com. Yes, sign me up. Okay, and then you click on submit. And then this is the message that comes up to the person who submits it. Thank you for your message, it has been sent. So let's go over and look in the, in my email. Okay, so here's the email that came in and here's my name and my 
the email, this one I just sent over, it lets me know that they're responding to my invitation for an advanced copy of Murder in the Sanctuary. This has been long published, so, <laughs> you know, this is from the past. But anyway, now for this, uh, when I get this email, what I do is I copy the person's email, I remember their name, I send them an email, and I include an attachment of an EPUB for them to read it on an e-reader. And I also include a PDF document in case that's the way they read. All right. And then I keep a running list of everyone that has signed up. So if you don't have, you know, MailerLite or MailChimp or a service like that, you can easily do this if you happen to have a website. Now, if you don't have a website and you don't have a mailing service, I believe I have heard uh, in the general scuttlebutt out there that Facebook might have these type of forms or maybe Google Docs has something like this. So if you don't have a mailing system yet and you don't have a website yet, don't despair. There is probably some way that you can get a form to work for you. Step three, get and stay organized. Any way you organize yourself will work. Trust me, it's very easy to lose the emails or file them somewhere you'll never remember six weeks down the road. Because these come in one at a time, it can be very easy to start filing them all over the place. Again, I'm talking from experience. So for each book I write, I use a notepad text document named info dash and whatever the name of the book is. And in this sheet, I keep all the ASIN and ISBN numbers, the page counts, the titles, descriptions, blurbs, etc. for each book. At the very bottom of this page, I keep track of the names and emails of my ARC readers. This way, I always have them right on the book information page. Now, you can send them a private invitation to be an ARC reader for your next book. So by doing the ARC readers, you are constantly building your pool of ARC readers and you're also building your readership. As I said earlier, the ARC reader signups will drip in a few at a time. If you are doing this manually and not using BookFunnel, be prepared to check your email for signups every day, maybe even a few times a day. You want to deliver the ebook promptly. The six to eight weeks will pass quickly enough. There's a lot to do during this time in terms of preparation for marketing the book after its release. Once the book is released, send the ARC readers an email thanking them again for participating as an ARC reader and ask them if they would be good enough to leave you a review. Include a review link in the email so they can click on the link and be taken right to the review page. Some will leave a review and some will not. It's that way for all authors. Step four is the last step regarding your ARC readers for this book. Save their names and addresses for your next release. Next, you want to prepare a group email and social media posts about the new book's release. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Every little bit helps. I'll see you in the next video.